Welcome back to another marketing video. Today we have this $20 Troy built push mower with a Honda engine. Very desirable in today's push mower world. I'm going to go ahead and get these handles on and we'll see if it'll start up. Now as always, first thing we're going to do before we try to start it, we're going to check the oil. It looks like there's nothing on it, but really that's just the cleanest oil of any push mower I've ever bought. Fill the focus, but it won't. And we have gas. Let me grab some carb cleaner. All right, let's give it a couple shots, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Need a carb clean. Haven't done a carburetor video in a while. Just two 10 millimeter bolts. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut this gas off. And then we have a little PCV, PCV line back here. You can unhook. That comes right off. And then this kind of fell, but it was behind the carb like so. So I'm going to take that off and lay it to the side. I'm going to get some pliers. I'm just going to take this little clamp off here. And hopefully not get gas all over ourselves. So as you can see here, this is an auto choke. So you don't have the choke leakage coming up to the choke plate here. It's only the one in the back for the throttle. So you just kind of bend that. You can see how that would go in and then you twist it like that. And then we have the spring, the governor spring. That's going to pop right off. So there's our old carburetor. Then us a brand new carburetor for this engine. All right, we zoomed in a little bit so we can see just how easy it is to put this linkage back on. So you can see that curve there. So we're going to turn the carburetor, stick it straight in, and then just follow the curve. And our governor spring goes into the other hole, and boom, you're hooked back up. So we have our automatic choke piece. We have our new gasket. We have the gasket for the front, and then we have the air filter box. So I'm going to go ahead and slide on my first gasket. Then we will follow that with the carburetor. Go ahead and put the gas line back on too while we're at it. I'm going to retighten that clamp. Then we have our new gasket. Then the choke. And we'll screw it all back on. Put our filter and cover back on. Let's get some gas and fire it up. Gonna have a look at this blade. Oh boy. All right, let's get the thing off of there. Oh wow. I'm gonna need both hands for this. Look at that. That is crazy. But the blade doesn't look too bad. Let's go get it sharpened. So I used to use a grinding disc, but I switched over to this 80 grit flat disc. 
and I think it gives a much better result on how the blade looks. Alright, so I got the bag here on, and it is really bent. It's supposed to be more up at an angle like this. And it's just kind of bent down, so I'm going to see if I can take that off and maybe bend these points up a little and see how that works. Alright, so I just had it on the trailer here, and I was kind of pushing down here and pulling up on the back to try to bend that up, so see if that fixed it. certainly looks better you got that gap right there but I just need to pull this up over hard to do with one hand but I will go ahead and do that you can see that seal is up there now so now it's not gonna have any gaps there the grass is gonna be blown out of now one other problem with this Quite a big hole right there, so I'm gonna try to repair that. I wanted to get some wire mesh to kind of melt into that and then put some epoxy over it, but I couldn't find just a small piece of it. You had to buy the whole roll. So I just had some leftover tape here. I may have to move out of direct sunlight in a second because my phone does not like direct sunlight. So I already washed all this off, sprayed it off with water, but I'm going to try to get a little more dirt and grease off so this will adhere better. I'm going to grab my patch. All right, I had to stick it in front of my AC to cool it down for a minute because it almost shut off. So all I did while I was waiting was I put a piece of that tape on the inside, uh, right there, and then just press it down really good, and then I'm going to use some of this instant epoxy and see if that'll help. Try to keep it flat, that way it doesn't kind of puddle up in the middle. So this is supposed to set up in, okay, one minute. Wow. Yes, it really is instant. We'll see you in one minute. All right, it looks like it's all set up. and doesn't look half bad. Uh, kind of dripped it a little, but the good news is that's on the bottom anyways, so you won't even be able to see it. Now I am just going to shine it up. Right, so we got it all cleaned up, looking really good. I'm going to list this thing for 150 and I will probably take 120 for it. It's not self-propelled, so that usually adds a little value, but that's okay. We'll catch you on the next one.